Angular components are reusable. It is only natural that you are going to find a component nested inside another component. This establishes the parent-child component relationship. For example, let's say we have two components, component A and component B. The template of component A contains the selected tag of component B. This makes component A the parent component and component B the child component. The parent and child components have to often interact with each other. So first, let's focus on the different concepts that we come across when interacting with a child component. And for the very first interaction scenario, let's see how to pass data from the parent component to the child component. To get us started, I have generated a brand new project by running the command ng new child demo. If I expand the folder, you can see that it contains all the necessary files. Let's begin by establishing the parent-child relationship. For this demo, the parent component is going to be the app component. We don't have a child component though, so let's create one using the CLI. Open the terminal, control backtick, and navigate inside the project folder, cd child demo. Now run the command ng g for generate, C for component followed by name of the component which we are going to call as child. Once the command completes, you should now have a child.component.ts file which is of course the child component that we are going to be working with. Now to make this component as a child of app component, we need to specify the selector in app component template. So open app.component.html, wipe out the prefill HTML, and instead I'm going to add a heading that says parent component. And just below the heading, I'm going to add the selector for the child component. So if you see here, the selector is app-child. So app-child. Similarly, in the child component HTML, I'm going to have an h2 tag that says child component. Now let's run this application and test it out in the browser. So in the terminal, run the command ngServe-O. You should be able to see both the headings. Parent component is from the app component HTML. Child component is from the child component HTML, which of course is nested inside the parent component. Now let's go back to VS Code and add some HTML in the child component. I'm going to add a paragraph that says welcome back and another paragraph that says please log in. I want the welcome back message to be displayed if the user is logged in and the second message, please log in if the user is not logged in. So let me create a property that denotes the state. So in child.component.ts, I'm going to create a new property, logged in, and set this to true. In the HTML, I'm going to add the ngif directive. So star ngif is equal to logged in. And for the second paragraph, star ng if is equal to not of logged in. If you take a look at the browser, you can see the message welcome back. If I flip logged in to false, we see the message please log in. So the interaction within the child component, that is between the class and its template works as expected. But there are definitely applications you will build where several components make use of the logged in state and rather than each component maintaining its own logged in value, a single parent component maintains that value and passes it on as an input to the children components. 
And to make this interaction of the parent component passing data to the child component possible, we make use of input decorators. Let's see how it works. I'm going to go back to VS Code and in the child component, we mark the logged in property as an input property by adding the input decorator and removing the assignment. So just before login, we're going to say at input logged in of type boolean. Now also make sure to import input from angular slash core. Now that the child component is expecting a value, let's send it from the parent component. So open app.component.ts and over here, let's add the property. This time I'm going to call it user logged in. This is going to be set to true. Next in the app component HTML, in the opening tag of the child component, we bind to the input property that the child component expects the value of the property in the parent component. So what is the value that the child component expects? Logged in. And what is the value of that property in the parent component? User logged in. So we bind user logged in, which is the value in the parent component, to logged in, which is the value that the child component expects as an input square brackets for property binding. Now, if we save this and take a look at the browser, you can see welcome back. So the value user logged in is set to true and passed to the child component as logged in. In the child component, we make use of that input value and render the appropriate HTML. If I change user logged in to false, You should be able to see the message, please log in. So that is how the parent component communicates a value to the child component. Also, if you want to use a different name for the input property within the child component, you can do so by specifying the original value in the input decorator parentheses and then the alias as the property name. So I can change this to within parentheses logged in so this is the original input name that we specify in the app component html but then we can specify an alias so i can call this login flag and then in the child component html change logged in to login flag so let's save this go back to the browser and you should still see the same output please log in change app component.ts user logged in to true and it says welcome back. Now in the child component class you might see a red squiggly error which is from tslint which can be ignored for this scenario. Finally let me also tell you that you can have default values for the input properties. So in the child component class we can assign a value to the input field. So login flag is equal to, let's say true. And then in the parent component HTML, I can completely remove the binding. So no input value is being passed right now. If I go back to the browser, you can see it says welcome back. I change the default value to false. And it says, please log in. So that is about the input decorator, which can be used to pass data from the parent component to the child component.